Today I will be showing you how to implement the combat tool into your quest system. First, if you haven't already been using my quest system, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You'll need to properly set up the quest system before using it, so I'll show you how to do that. Now Now that you have your quest system all set up, be sure that the combat tool is in the starter pack. I'll give a quick overview of the combat tool so that you know how it works and what you'll need to do to customize it. Open the main script. There you'll see three objects, the hit sound and two animations. These are the animations that will play when you click your mouse or tap the screen. The damage int value is how much damage each punch or hit deals to the enemy. In properties, change the value property to how much damage you want the player to deal to the enemy NPC. Next, you'll see the hit and the swing sounds. These sounds will play when you land a hit on the enemy NPC or when you swing your arm but don't land a hit on the enemy NPC. Now I'll show you how to insert a sound into the hit and swing sounds. First, open your toolbox. Under audio, search for the sounds you'd like to use. Next, copy the asset ID. You can do this by either right-clicking the audio or pressing the three dots, then select the copy asset ID option. Then, paste the asset ID into the sound ID property. Now, I'll be doing the same thing for my other audio. Just repeat the steps that I just did or follow along. Now, I'll be finding animations for the swing animations. You can either search for animations in the toolbox, create your own, or use my model that has pre-created punching animations. Make sure that the animation you use or create is an R15 animation, otherwise it won't work. I ended up finding my R15 animations in the toolbox, how cool, so I used those. Go to the Avatar tab at the top of your screen and select Animation Editor. Then, click on one of the NPCs. Click on the three dots and select Publish to Roblox. Name the animation whatever you want and hit the Submit button. In order to use an animation, you'll have to have published the animation yourself to Roblox, you can't use animations that you haven't published to Roblox. Next, go to my animations and find the punching animation you want to use. I have multiple so I'm just gonna pick some random one I have. Go back to the main script in the combat tool. There you'll see two animations. Copy the asset ID of the animation you'd like to use, then paste it into the animation ID property. You can either use the same animation or a different animation for both, it doesn't really matter. Here are the final results. 
My video does not have the audio sounds for the swing and hit features, however, your audio should play.